What is inbreeding? Inbreeding is the breeding together of closely related birds. Pairing of siblings, parents to offspring, grandparents to grandchildren. Half brothers to half sisters are all examples of inbreeding. Beginners in breeding often ask why this. Practice should be avoided when expert breeders regularly use inbreeding to establish new mutations and desirable traits in their lines. We will discuss why inbreeding should generally be avoided. You don't need to be an expert in genetics to understand this. I will only make use of the concept of dominant and recessive traits to explain the pros and cons of inbreeding. A recessive trait feature is one that will not appear in the children unless it is carried by both the parents. Both parents must pass on the same recessive gene to the child for it to become visible. Most undesirable features are genetically recessive in nature. If they were dominant, they would quickly spread to the whole population and threaten the well-being of the species. Our birds may carry many such genes without showing any visible signs. For example, they may carry a gene for a short tail, a gene that causes infertility and another that causes crooked toes. However, our birds look perfectly fit and healthy because they only have a single copy of this gene. If they had two copies, of the same gene they would show the effect of these genes by having a short tail or crooked toes or infertility. When we breed such a bird there is a 50% chance for each undesirable gene to be passed on to the offspring since there may be several undesirable genes in a single bird. It is very probable that a given offspring will inherit some of these undesirable genes. Let us now consider what happens when we breed to siblings from this bird that was carrying the undesirable genes. Each of the two siblings has a 50% chance of inheriting each of the undesirable genes from the parent. There is 50% chance that the male has inherited the gene for a short tail and a 50% chance that he has inherited a gene for infertility and 50% chance that he has inherited a gene for crooked toes. The same is true for the female. Therefore, there is a high probability that one or more of these undesirable genes is present in both siblings. When we breed them together, the chances of the same recessive gene being passed on from both parents to the same chick are much higher as compared to a pairing where the birds were unrelated. We may get one or more chicks that show one or more of the undesirable features described above, even if we are lucky and don't get a bird that shows a defect. The same undesirable genes are now present in more of our birds than before. If we continue to inbreed sooner or later, we will start seeing birds that show these defects, the defects I have mentioned. Here are just examples. There may be hundreds of such genetic defects that are found in a single species. To summarize, inbreeding greatly increases the chances of combining undesirable genes leading to undesirable qualities in our birds. Even an expert practicing in breeding to improve his birds may see the effects of the undesirable genes coming together and producing defective birds. In breeding should be avoided, if done. Irresponsibly it can lead to defective birds. High mortality and infertility but with careful planning it can be used to. Breed some wonderful birds. Thanks for watching.